Hey class. Today I'm going to show you the simple formula for calculating a wave's speed given its frequency and wavelength. Or you can find the wavelength or frequency given the other two variables. First up, let's see what speed actually is. Speed is how fast the wave is traveling. So what we're going to measure that in is meters and we need a time reference per second. So how many meters per second is that wave traveling? The symbol for speed, you'll either see V for velocity. Velocity and speed are very close to one another. Or S, velocity or speed. You may see either one for us doesn't make a difference. When you get on to physics and higher up level uh, sciences, you'll find out the difference between velocity and speed. Okay, so that's speed. Wavelength, how far, like how what the distance is between the crest of one wave to the crest of the next, we measure that in meters, or just lowercase m for abbreviation. The wavelength symbol it's another one of those Greek symbols that we talk about. Looks like this. Almost like an upside down Y. And we call that lambda. So if you see lambda in an equation, you know that's automatically talking about wavelength. And lastly, frequency. Frequency is how fast that wave, how many times the wave passes a certain point in a given reference of time. So if you're looking at a wave on paper, this is low frequency, this is high frequency. You've got more wavelengths in that particular time than you do this wave. Frequency we measure after the guy who founded it named Heinrich Hertz, but we abbreviate that H-Z. And its symbol is just simply lowercase f. Not too difficult on that. Now that we know each unit and what each uh, symbol repre represents, let's write down the formula for finding a wave's speed or velocity. That formula is simply V equals wavelength times frequency, or lambda frequency. Simple as that, not too hard. This is algebra that we probably could have done when we were in sixth grade. So let's look at the first example. This is a speed example. The question says, a wave with a wavelength of 14.5 meters is vibrating with a frequency of 28.6 hertz. Based on this, what's the speed of the wave? So first thing to do, find out what you're looking for. In this case, what's the speed? So I'm going to put question mark speed over here. Pull up your equation, V equals lambda frequency we're given both of those we're given lambda here and frequency there so v equals 14.5 times 28.6 and this is where you need your calculator let me find mine There we go. That one doesn't seem to be working anymore. All right, 14.6, 14.5, excuse me, times 28.6. 414.6. Four hundred fourteen point seven, and then our unit for speed is going to be meters per second. Simple as that. 
We were given both of our units of information to solve for speed, so we simply plug it into the equation. Let's look at a couple of different examples. First up, let me clear the board. Okay, this is a wavelength example. So how to solve for the wavelength. You observe a wave with a frequency of 9.6 hertz traveling at a speed of 45.6 meters per second. Given these two values, calculate the wavelength of the wave. So again, we're solving for lambda or wavelength. Write down our formula, V equals lambda frequency. But that's solving for velocity or speed. Let's solve for lambda. To do that, we need to isolate this variable. And to isolate it, we divide by F on both sides. So F cancels out over here. So lambda equals velocity divided by frequency. So I'm going to write that right here. Lambda equals velocity over frequency. So now let's just plug those numbers in. Lambda equals our velocity or speed was 45.6. And you can leave the units off at this point. As long as you know what three units each of the values is, you don't have to worry about writing the actual units when you're solving these. 45.6 meters per second divided by Frequency of 9.6. Now pull out your trusty calculator again. 45.6 divided by 9.6 gives us 4.75. And on the quiz, I'm generally going to tell you to round this to one decimal place. So if that's the point, we're going to round to that seven, five rounds up. So our final answer would be 4.8. And since it's a wavelength, it's going to be meters. So that's example number two. Again, we're just using simple algebra here. Let's look at the last example. And this is an example about frequency. A light wave that is traveling at 3 million meters per second, all light travels at that exact same speed, visible light. We're talking about visible light and the UV spectrum, which we've already learned about. Light wave traveling at 300 million meters per second has an extremely long wavelength of 212 meters. Given this information, what's the frequency of this wave? So we're looking for frequency. Let's take our velocity equation. Velocity equals lambda times frequency. We want to isolate frequency this time, so we're going to divide both sides by lambda. So frequency is actually going to equal velocity over wavelength. And now just plug the numbers in. We're looking for frequency, so velocity 300 million divided by 212. This is not going to be a pretty number. We've got 
one million four hundred fifteen thousand ninety four point three. So one million four hundred fifteen thousand ninety four point three, and frequency we're going to be measuring that in hertz. So I'm going to write it again down here if I have space. That's a lot of cycles per second, but again, light is very fast. I hope this short video helps you to solve the practice questions and then also helps you on the quiz that we'll be taking in a few days.